In this lesson, we're going to look at another application problem. It says, last year Elaine made $32,000. If she was taxed at a rate of 15% and she paid $2,550 in taxes, how much of her income was taxed? So um, the idea here, um, which anyone who's done their taxes um, should know this, is that you don't necessarily get taxed on all the money that you earn. Okay. Depending on what you do with that money after you earn it, um, you can take some of the money away and keep that from being taxed. Um, so some good examples would be if you give to charity. Um, so suppose she gave 2000 of her $32,000 to charity. She would uh, get to take $2,000 away from what she was actually taxed on. Okay, So she knows how much she paid in taxes, $2,550. She knows the tax rate that she was at, 15%. And so what we're wanting to know is how much of that $32,000 was actually taxed. All right, so this is a problem that has what we call a distractor. And the distractor here is this $32,000. You could actually answer the question without knowing that she made $32,000. So it's there to kind of distract you and, and make you think you have to use it somehow. But it's not really pertinent. Because what we want to know is essentially 15% of what number? 15% of what number? is 2550 right? Because she's taxed on whatever this mysterious number is, she takes 15% of it, and that equals how much she actually had to pay in taxes, $2,550, okay? So of course this sets up into the nice equation here, 0.15, of means times, of course, what number is x, is means equals, and then we have 2,550. All right, so I can divide both sides by 0 0.15 to isolate my x. So we have some division to do, so we have 2550 divided by 0 0.15, and we know that we can't have a decimal in the divisor, so we move it to the right two places here, but we have to match that by moving it to the right two places in the dividend. So the numbers we're actually dividing are um, 255,000. divided by 15. So 15 goes into 25 once. I have a remainder of 10, drop the 5. 15 goes into 105 seven times, and that ha happens exactly seven times. And then we have a whole bunch of zeros to drop down. Remember when you have more zeros to drop down, you have to say 15 goes into 0, 0 times. 15 goes into 0. 0 times, 15 goes into 0, 0 times until you haven't dropped any more of those zeros. So that means when you divide these, you get 17,000. And of course, this is an application problem, so the proper label is dollars. So <coughs> $17,000. So what that means is she was only taxed on $17,000 of her income. So $15,000 of her income uh, was not taxed at all. So maybe someone's given a charity, um, maybe she has a mortgage and some of it was um, part of her mortgage interest. Um, that's something that's tax deductible. Some of it maybe went to retirement. Um, that might be tax, de tax deductible. So, um, so she only paid taxes on $17,000.